Yeah, hi guys. Um, so I just thought I'd go through and help us work out what's going on with stuff. A few things, so let's start off with this video, or well, just the start of this video. So it's part two, um, June 11, 2023, a claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God who came to earth in the flesh, bled on the cross, and died for our sins, and rose on the third day. Alright, so, um, me too, alright? I want to claim that same thing because um, it's very good to do that because it says here <clears throat> whoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God God dwelleth in him and he in God alright so you'll notice Mandy there says at the start of her videos uh, Jesus is God and the Son of God alright and she's not shy about it she's right up front you'll find people um, some people have a very hard time saying Jesus is God, alright? But they'll shy away from that, but they can't bring themselves to say it, alright? So that these are ones um, um, I, I avoid. Um, Arianism is, <clears throat> is the reason why I've avoided a few people. Um, so, yeah, so in saying so, in my channels, I've worked out over a a time there with the Holy Spirit helping me, punishing me when I've picked the wrong ones and all that sort of stuff. Um, so to find spirit-led people, this is my criteria. All right. Um, but firstly, they must give freely with their if with their content. Right. If they're making content for the glory of God and they want no credit for themselves, they just want people to share it and get it out there and. Um, get it out to people, all right, with no glory to themselves. They don't care. They're not monetized. None of that sort of stuff. All right, and, and if they are monetized, it might have been from their channel from previously. It's already been other, but whatever. The thing is, they, um, if they see your, your video on someone else's channel, they'll just say they're all awesome. You know, they're happy. So that's the sort of thing about <clears throat> um, spirit-led people. They'll have that sort of thing. Um, and second one is they'll show fruit of the spirit. All right, so this is the most important one. Uh, all Christians should be aiming for this. This is these are gifts. All right, these are gifts you, that you want. Um, this is like getting crowns. Um, uh, I like these are. You should know these off by heart just from prayer for asking for them. All right. Um, so you know you the person will have love when they're speaking. They'll be joyful. All right. Um, peace. They'll be at peace with their things. They'll put up with a lot of rubbish. All right, and they're still gentle even after that. The goodness, faith. Right, their faith is strong as. All right, their meekness, and temperance. All right, so they they control themselves. All right, and against this there is no law. All right, so um, the law means Torah. So. Uh, it, Torah is the law. The whole Old Testament of that is law, and likely the New Testament as well. <clears throat> okay, as I said, whoever confesses that Jesus is God and the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. All right. Um, I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am He, right, you shall die in your sins. Okay, fair enough. So let's let's have a look at um, what we got. So we'll go to mockers. I'll have a look at mockers and scoffers first because um, <clears throat> just because we can. <laughs> yeah. So as the title says, we're dealing with mockers and scoffers and and the watchmen and and the prophets <clears throat> um, of today. And there's a few around. Some are really good. Um, right, so, beloved, remember you the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own godly lust, right? Now, lust doesn't mean just playing with yourself and um, all that sort of stuff, right? It means your desires, things you like doing, uh, you enjoy doing. You might enjoy punching someone in the face, right? So that, that's the last. It's just something you just like doing. Um, 
these are these are they who separate themselves essentially having sensual having not the spirit capital s right holy spirit is capital s but ye beloved building yourselves up on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost um so yeah building yourself up keep yourself in the love of god looking for the mercy of our Jesus Christ to eternal life. So this is what you should be doing. Just keep yourself in God, involved in God, mind your own business. Um, don't go around mocking and scoffing at people. Alright. So you've got Psalms here. With hypocritical mockers in feast, they gnash upon me with their teeth. Alright, so they're always just chewing on you. They just never stop. They're so annoying. <laughs> they're... they're, they're you try that there's no fruit in these people they just uh, they're, they're that tree that Jesus killed because it didn't bring any figs out All right. uh, rescue my soul from their destruction my darling from the lions alright because that's what they are they're just lions prowling around anyway um, perilous times to come for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters, proud blasphemers, um, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Now they have no natural affection, all right. So they don't, they don't have any uh, love, uh, you know, as in others. They don't have fellowship, but they do with the people that think like them, all right. As long as they um, not think like God, all right. So you'll know. People that um, you'll know people by their father, all right. So, if people speak with an accuser's voice, then that's what their father sounds like. If they speak with love, then that's what their father sounds like. All right. So, truce breakers, false accusers, um, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Okay. Um, traitors, heady, high-minded lovers of pleasure all right so th these guys are actually really close to tears I, I'm I'm um, thinking they're along those lines so, so you got let's have a look at tears all right so <clears throat> tears a eh? they break the law they, the takeaway principle of Matthew 7 you will know them by their fruits um, uh, one only needs to taste the flavor of a tear to realize it's not wheat if someone professes to, uh, to be a believer and eventually takes license with the man's and God's laws and is unremorseful and in, 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 impotent, every biblical reason exists to doubt the generous of the thing. So, um, you know, it's, we're all going to stuff up. So you just show some remorse and, and, um, and, you know, change your mind about what you were doing sort of thing and, um, try a different way of doing it. <laughs> That's what repent means. Just change your mind. Try another tract. But um, <clears throat> what is it? They pretend. So tears will mimic the wheat as closely as possible before blooming and all the outward appear similar and gain a following. Check their story. Do your own research. Um, is there a pattern of lying? So, you know, um, you got the people who they think they're telling the truth. But you know, whatever they're not. So um, you you got that with the prophets too. So they, I suppose they could be considered lying as well. But um, these people won't see themselves as liars. Uh, the takeaway principle was that they possess an air of moral superiority, right? So you'll see people like Tony Lamb. He says, "I am nothing but the dirt, God's dirt. No one is be, no one is beneath me." Um, the only thing special about me is I am God's dirt. Right? I love that. I love that prayer. That's a great prayer. That's a good one to keep you um, grounded. All right. So this this would be something they don't say. They'll never say that. <clears throat> but uh, in their attempts to come alongside and be disguised, they have no understanding of the concept of grace, since they cannot imitate its quali quality. Right. So. Um, yeah, they'll go on there and tell you you're going to hell and uh, all that sort of stuff. They, they have no grace. All right, everybody's going to hell that doesn't agree with them. <coughs> um, they are legalists. Um, 
tears of a legalistic versus grace paradigm of how one goes to heaven when quizzed they are found relying on self their own good works so you know they'll the efforts that they're doing so if they've made themselves a sheriff and they're patrolling around and picking on everyone then um, you know their works uh, the takeaway principle of well, the person yeah possess an improper emphasis so they'll pick on things that are uh, make a big deal out of things that are not things you should be focused on tears fight the wrong battles and possess no real interest in changing the hearts of people through the love of Christ theirs is a fascination with outward change and no real uh, God only can give this yeah understanding of the concept or need of inward change they do not understand the gospel nor are they interested in evangelism and discipline discipleship and well discipline yes discipleship rather power alright so yeah so someone like standing over top of you that's pretty much power uh, the takeaway point of Peter 1 is that uh, know from this passage and, author and the authority of God's word that tears are sexually out of control in their private if not public life this always comes um, out with time if not already so yeah so on their little computers there and their tabs they'll have all the you know the porn sites or whatever and it won't be just your normal uh, you know it won't be like kissing ones or whatever it'll be like the really hard stuff the after a while they get right into the um, the real nasty and nasty stuff because things just don't get them excited anymore unless it's mean and nasty and all that sort of stuff so um, they're not into anything nice they'll claim to be sinless um, the, now this is one year of, this is why I sort of doubt all mockers fit in the tear thing because some of them I think will actually without prompting admit that they have sin it's a bit rare but but I think they would um, yeah so anyway um, controlling and accusatory right so that's a big one they speak with the accuser's voice so um, tend to seek control and are unrelenting in their false accusations unrelenting all right that's that's the word for them these um, <clears throat> they just never stop and they'll pick on the same person over and over again instead of just leaving them right because it's not their job to to change this person or to, or to do whatever whatever it is their intention is their, their job is just to go on um, get find the lost sheep right it's not to attack at people but they no nah, they're a sheriff that's what they do all right so there we go that's tear so mockers are very close to that uh, what's the next one what are we got here <clears throat> scoffers okay oh. knowing first that they shall last day comes scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation so uh, scoffers will say he's not coming all right it's all, it's all rubbish and the thing is they don't want him to come um, if you had a loved God and you had a desire with all, above all things right all you do is desire Jesus to rock up every day all right this is this is your hope this is the whole point in being a Christian in the first place is the blessed hope it's not just enjoying your sin and then being saved after you've finished enjoying your sin like that song what is it oh Lord uh, um, make me clean but not yet or whatever it is I forgot that song yeah so it's not about enjoying your sin first and then um, then him come and save you, you <laughs> get rid of all that so that you know, you can stand in front of him all right and uh, be be joyful and look forward to him coming all right it takes time but we've all we all have to do it so get on with it that's the thing with this one um, <clears throat> right so the pro prophets let's get on the prophets but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So, 
our teachers would be our watchmen. All right. So the thing I've noticed with over the years that we've been doing this is I can't believe how much I've learnt biblically um, just from this. This little carrot that we've been chasing has trained us up. I, I've just about got to admit it that we are now priests. We are no, you know, we are Levi. Um, we are. Well, we were nothing. We, we just all of us were like bastard nothings, come from nothing. We're just we were all broken and whatever. But he's um, he's bringing us along, and um, somehow we've managed to study, study, study so hard that we know we know enough about. We have understanding of the Bible now, like never before. Like people have never had before in history. All right, even all these preachers on. Um, they've got their million followers. We we we, we see where they're in error, um, and uh, it's a, it's amazing. I can't believe it myself, but but it's great. It's awesome, and um, I, that's part of the plan. Obviously, like it's building up a a lot of people that actually know what they're talking about now, which is wonderful, and it's a it's actually um, great to be able to understand the Bible and you don't have to be a rocket scientist when you start looking at it um, the correct way and it starts to open up for you and a lot of people are not not interested they're still stuck in their old way but anyway um, teachers among you who privily shall bring indomitable heresies and denying the Lord that bought them alright so Jesus denying Jesus that bought them alright and bring them upon themselves swift destruction so those that deny Jesus, right, will say he's not God for a start. <clears throat> um, and many shall follow their precious ways by reason of whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of. So speaking evil of whom the way of truth shall be spoken evil of. Jesus is the way of the truth, the way. All right. So, uh, yeah, the speaking evil and through covetous shall they frame words that make merchandise of you so this will be those big tv preachers and the ones with a million followers and more uh, that sort of thing so basically false prophets and false teachers so these two things here are basically in the same same category got chainsaws going on so these two are in the same category um, false teachers all right are reading God's Word and uh, they're putting it forward to the people as they see it all right as of as they read it and they're interpreting it to the people okay so but the thing they got on their side is the people can actually look uh, in the book and see if they're right or not you know so you can check yourself so this is why I like to stay on this side of things here and also um, uh, you know I've, I've actually been through all the teachers and I've found a good one now and, uh, and I'm sticking with that so the other one the false prophets they're pretty much they do the same sort of thing they um, get God's word and they try and interpret it and and see what he's saying because God is actually very hard to understand <laughs> you, you never quite know what he's saying and, and he takes his time telling you because he's always trying to teach you stuff and you've got to learn his way not your way and uh, that that's great because his way is actually really good and we can see the fruit of learning his way all right so so watchman is this category False prophets is this category, all right, and uh, they're both in the same boats. They're, as far as I'm looking at them, they're both the same. All right, so um, yeah, well, you got. Let's have a look here. Now, what have we got? Um, is this which one is this one? Oh, the Old Testament prophets described. 
What is the gift of prophecy? Um, Alright. Yeah, this one. Alright. So, I'll just go a quick one through here. Self-control. The rules state that a prophet must exercise self-control. Those who give prophetic utterances are not to act with uncontrolled frenzy. All right, um, which they quite often do. You'll you'll see even some of them speak in tongues and do that sort of stuff. Whatever. When the spirit of God is working through one who prophesies, he will exercise self-restraint. Therefore, anyone who gets uncontrollable state when prophesying is not being led by the spirit of God. All right. The second rule states the prophecy should be limited to two or three per meeting. So let two or three prophets speak. Third rule says the prophecies are to be judged by others in the assembly. The New Testament does not encourage believers to blindly follow anyone who claims to prophecy in the name of the Lord. When a prophet speaks, said the Apostle Paul, let others judge. All right? So you guys are the judge. <clears throat> Most important, the prophecies must be consistent with what God has already revealed. If a prophet brings forth a message that contradicts what the scripture says, then we can be assured that the prophecy is not from God. All right. So the prophet will be in control of his senses. He will be in an uncontrolled he will not be in an uncontrolled state. Prophecies are limited to two or three per meeting. Prophecies are to be judged by others. Any prophet message given is to be in conformity with God has already revealed. All right. <clears throat> so this is where uh, a lot would be crying false prophet because you're not allowed to give any dates and stuff because there's no dates uh, given. Well, there actually is, but the, yes, yeah, they don't see any dates given in the in the Bible or when it's to happen or it's uh, uh, whatever they're, they're, yeah there's no numbers no, there's no, not like Wednesday because like Wednesday didn't even exist when they were starting but um, yeah there's nothing like that so straight away they're false prophets so to a lot of people there can't be any prophets at all actually no if, if they're claiming to be a prophet they're straight away a false prophet alright so um now, the, 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 when they say you can't know the day or the hour and all that sort of stuff, and I'm saying, well, there are, are dates in the Bible, and yes, you can, because it's um, um, it says seek and look and find and search and keep going. All right, so it says here, but of that day and hour, no, knoweth no man, right? So you get these... This is the people that only know this line. This is the only thing they've ever learnt, and if they've been to church, is this. All right, and um, it, it's so annoying um, because it just shows who you're dealing with first uh, that they barely know scripture, um, let alone know where it is. And all they've got to do is move up one verse Heaven and earth shall pass away, but of that day. An hour knoweth no man. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but of that day an hour knoweth no man. All right, so <laughs> well, why can't you check before you go accusing somebody of no man knoweth, or repeating what other people are saying? You've got to look for yourself and go and see where they got that from and maybe even read up a bit further, right? Because these are interestable. It's actually a parable, right? This is a parable. So, um, you know, uh, I'm sure you guys know what a parable is. But anyway, that's the thing. We've got to go and have a look before we start harassing and picking on people. Is Go and have a look where it's at and actually who it's speaking to and... All the rest of it, so that sort of thing. So, he that prophesies speak unto men to edification, exhaustion, and comfort. Okay, so if you're prophesizing, right, 
you're there for edification, right? And and to comfort, and that's all is just to bring people comfort and joy and edification, all right? So the, you're not to look at prophets as um, giving you instructions from God, all right? So the ones in the Bible are in the Bible for a reason. They're put there by God, all right? So, um, but there's more than just those prophets. There's Paul's saying they used to come into his church as heaps and he had to make rules because they were just clamoring over each other to do their stuff, right? And he's saying, uh, I wish you were all prophets, but you could all prophesy, right? Because he could, right? And it's, and it's normal for them to prophesy. So, they had guilds and stuff, right, to be prophets. People nowadays have no idea what a prophet is. Prophets are poets, um, musicians, right? You, he's, um, you got songs and stuff you all nod your head to. They're, they're prophesizing, <laughs> all right? So uh, they're, they're, there's thousands and thousands of them, so many. Um, and people just don't understand what a prophet is. All right, or how many different types and styles there are. So, never take a prophet for whatever, because they're still trying to learn what God's saying, the same as anyone else, the same as us trying to figure out what's in the Bible. Prophets are trying to work out what God's trying to say. And they get excited. Right? Um, but the thing is, uh, prophets like Mandy, is she's a baby prophet. All right? She's uh, she's still young in her walk. She has no experience. She hasn't been demoralized enough and, and uh, well, not demoralized, um, humbled enough to be more, uh, what's the other word there, have temperance and keep herself in control, right? Instead of going out there and saying he's coming and coming, God might have told her to do that, I don't know, but the thing is, she says she's been obedient, and at the start of her videos, she confesses that Jesus Christ is God and the Son of God, alright, so, um, God is in her and she in God, right, so it says that, so that bit, you, you can trust, now, you, you can you can stop watching her if you don't find her edifying, that's, that's fine, alright, but getting angry and um, harassing her or whatever else is, is, is just wrong. Okay. Um, so yeah, he goes on about tongues and that, so I won't get on the tongues thing. Um, prophecy is a superior gift. Um, yeah, I follow after charity, uh, charity, love, and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophecy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. No man understand him. Howbeit, the Spirit speaks the mysteries. But he that prophesies speaketh unto men to edification. Alright, so, yeah, I think we'll be through that. What do we go through here? Alright, so this girl here, if you think her heart um, is not fully for the Lord, for God, right? And uh, she's just out to deceive and to get followers just for herself. Well, let, let's have a look. I'm freaking out. Okay, so not only did he give me the message, I'm about to cry. This is so amazing. Okay, I know in his word it says that, you know, that no one knows the time or the day. But he's been giving me secrets of the Bible the last three weeks. And he's been showing me things that that are secrets and that his hidden messages from the beginning. And guys, I pray everything in my head, I'm like freaking out. Okay, I, I asked for confirmation scriptures in my head after I got all of this because you know, I am just so paranoid of being deceived by the devil. But he gave me first Colossians 3.11, which means Christ is in all. John 2.5, whatever he says, you do it. Ephesians 4.9, he descended into lower parts of the earth. Matthew and gifts to them. Genesis 1 4, God saw the light was good. Joshua 1 14, pass before your brethren and help them. Colossians 1 4, since we heard your faith in Christ and love for all saints. Ephesians 2 5, and when we were dead, 
made us alive together in Christ. And in one First John four eleven, where do you get that from the living water, guys? Oh my goodness! So it all happened because I was watching this video, and it was talking about the uh, Jewish holiday coming up, and the Lord literally started going like this, and then I started speaking in tongues. Okay. He gives me tongues sometimes when he really has like this message and he's trying to warn his kids. And guys, if this doesn't happen on the 15th, you can delete my account and you can call me a false prophet because I believe in my heart 100% this is from Jesus. And okay, so now she said you can delete her account. All right, that's fine if, if you're sick of following her and uh, she's not edifying to you, delete her account and um, go your way. All right, now... I don't know about you guys, but uh, I get filled with the Holy Spirit when I feel that, right? Um, I, I'm not a fan of tongues when she says tongues, but I'm still... Um, this is why I've still kept following Mandy, because uh, she still meets most of my criteria. Um, and I still get Holy Spirit filling me when, when some of her stuff turns up. Um... So yes, I've done that bit there. Now, we got, this is my crew, alright, so I'm with Ministry Revealed, um, I've been with this, with with him for years, um, I was with us, you know, I was tossing up between the Sword of God and Ministry Revealed, and Ministry Revealed, hands down, made things a lot easier, and these videos were shorter back in the days when they were like two hours, he, he's um, working his way up to 10 hours now <laughs> um, but yeah well three and a half hours anyway but yeah so um in saying so like all the all the watchmen uh, are the same too like every one of them i've watched all the watchmen um watch women um for years and um i've watched them fall off and drop off and um fall from grace and all the rest of the stuff and Every single one of them has got excited about some sort of day or date and uh, put their going up outfit on. Now, I've, I've <laughs> I mean, I had a going up outfit and I wore it out. Well, actually, Alan wore it out. <laughs> yes, yes, Alan, I'm blaming you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we, um, this is from a year ago, right, and, uh, we we all we we're all excited and we want want the you know we're, we're looking for it and like Mandy says I'm finding amazing things in the Bible um, and we've been doing it for years now we we just freak out about the stuff we've been finding in the Bible that's been unlocked that that nobody has found before and uh, if, you know we we get these people who. Is say some guy in 1600s uh, he said all that life <laughs> whatever but um yeah we, we find all this stuff and yeah so this is Alan like a year ago all right there must be a day one there must be a start date brothers and sisters I'm telling you we got it we and, and I'll, you know what, I'll say it with a grain of salt, of course, because we've all been here before. In fact, for many of you, we're, we're in it right now, right? We're waiting for the next few. But I'm telling you, <coughs> go back and count from 1948. Understand how they count the Feast of Trees. All right, so Alan's a bit... A little bit more temper. He's still an excitable little bouncing ball of joy. But, um, yeah, he's done it many times before, and I've been there as well and got excited, and this is it. This is a date. It can go no further. And, um, this is, <laughs> you know, there's many videos where, he, where he's done that. And you'll notice now, he's, he, if you watch a few from a year before that, he now says with a grain of salt, because he's tempered now, right? He's not like Mandy who's a, a baby prophet right Alan's a bit more seasoned we've been d disappointed a lot more times and we're still disappointed <laughs> right but all these guys are wrong until the day they're right okay and the day they're right is what everybody's looking for 
so they're they're all joining up and I've seen all the all of the watchmen wrong all right and they've been wrong and they and they say oh you know or Helen said oh, I'm not saying thus say the Lord you know it's people that's what that say thus say the Lord that's the bad guys um he's a, no <laughs> <laughs> you are all doing it because you are. We see you are saying that thus say the Lord. We because we, we're following and we're we're trusting you that you can interpret the word of God properly, right? So we think it's God talking, and it matters what we think, not whether you've said it or not. So we actually think you've said thus say the Lord. So we're all failing. Um. Anyway, you know, so if if we're getting excited and getting ready to leave, and um, you know, it's it's our faults as well. But in the same token, right? The, this is good for us. It's all temperance, and and it's good training for us. Um, and uh, and it's test. It's good test. It's tempering your faith. All right. So there, there's those that are saying um. Oh, but you know your your cause and nose to drop out. Well, we had one member the other week. Um, she caused a big ruckus. She wanted a thought she could run the show better than than uh, Alan, and she turned some some um, some of the crew against against Alan, and then when Alan threw her down to earth, <laughs> and she took some of the people with her from the channel right and then she went and hung out with Enoch who I call Julie and uh, yeah she's there because Julie's got God's ear she's another good prophet um, so I'm even seeing types and shadows and everything now and that's what Alan taught us just to look for things in the Bible you can find hints of what's going on in Revelation just from types and shadows all right so uh, so yeah, this is why I'm looking at stuff and uh, um, just be forgiving. Don't be a mocker and scoffer. Keep up the hope. Keep the love. Um, encouragement, edification, and uh, and just keep the joy. Look, keep looking forward to him coming. Um, we're going to be wrong, you know, until we're right, and, and that's just. How we how it goes, all right. So, um, but uh, along the way, we are learning so much, and we are growing. We are growing and growing. You know, we are. Um, I think there's a point where we're all joined together in in um, one mind. So, anyway, that's what God's after. Okay, so I hope that helped people. So yeah, God bless, guys.